Greetings everyone. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about girls block. Please refer to the size chart for measurements. Based on this draft, I will be making various designs of dresses and frocks for girls. So let's start. Start by leaving a half inch from the top of paper and make a line. Mark the full length. Let's assume it's 24 inch here. Draw the line on the marked point. On the top line, mark half of shoulder. Example, if shoulder is 9 inch, half of 9 inch will be 4.5 inch, 4.5 inch. Make it a guideline. From the guideline, mark half of shoulder again. If shoulder is 9 inch, half of 9 inch is 4.5 inch. Make a line on marked point. From the top guideline, make a guideline down. On the line, mark 1 fourth of chest plus 1 inch. Let's take an example here. If chest is 22 inch, 1 fourth of 22 inch is 5 and a half inch. 5 and a half plus 1 inch gives us 6 and a half inch. Draw the line. Measure the measure waist length from the top line. Let's assume it's 9 inch here. Extend the line from the marked point. Mark 1 fourth of waist plus 1 inch on the line. Example, if waist is 20 inch, 1 fourth of 20 inch is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6 inch. Draw the line from the marked point. From waist point, mark hip point by going down 3 inch. Extend the line from the marked point. From the marked point of hip, measure 1 fourth of hip round plus 1 inch. If hip round is 24 inch, 1 fourth of hip is 6 inch. 6 inch plus 1 gives us 7 inch. Once marked, make a line till the marked point. Let's join the sides, starting by joining the waist point and the hip point by using the hip curve ruler. Place the curve of the scale on the waist point. Join the chest line with the waistline. On the hemline, mark 1 fourth of hip round plus 3 inch. If hip round is 24 inch, 1 fourth of 24 is 6 inch. 6 plus 3 gives us 9 inch. Draw a line on the marked point. Join the sides by joining the hemline with the hip point. Let's start with the neckline. The neckline width usually ranges from 1.5 inch to 3.5 inch. Cross check with a child's garment. Over here, I am using 1 3 4 inch as the neck width. Mark it on the top guideline. On the side guideline, make a shoulder drop by going down 1 4 inch. Join the shoulder drop and the neck width with a straight line. From the neck width, diagonally measure the front neck and the back neck. Here, I am using 4 inch as a front neckline and 2 3 4 inch as the back neckline. Extend the mark points and block them. On the yellow dot, Go diagonally upwards half inch. Make the curve for the front and back armhole. This is done freehand. Just go a little inwards for the front armhole. Do not make the curve deep inwards as this won't be comfortable for the kids. Let's mark it in a different color to understand better.
label the draft. Let's cut the draft starting with the hemline. While cutting the hemline at the end, give a slight curve. Make the slit mark on the hip point. This is used for making the kurtis. Cut the sides. neckline and shoulder line and the back armhole curve. Give notches on the neck points and at the side waist and hip point. The draft is complete. Now let's start with sleeves. Fold the paper in half. Leave half inch from the top and make a line. Measure the full length of sleeves from the top line and, and mark. Here I am using 13 inch. Make a line. From the full side on the top line, measure and mark half of shoulder plus 1 inch. Example, if shoulder is 9 inch, half of 9 inch is 4 and a half. 4 and a half plus 1 inch gives us 5 and a half. Mark down the sleeve cap from the top line on the folded side. Let's assume it's 2 inch. Mark a line on the marked point. Mark the marked points as guidelines. On the hem line, Mark half of wrist round. If wrist round is 6 inch, half of 6 inch is 3 inch. From the top line, make a diagonal line and make sure it starts up from the full side. Mark the midpoint on the guideline. Make a curve for the front and back armhole. It's done freehand as these points have less curves and are not fitted. Start the curve by going up, passing through the midpoint and going, going slightly down. This is front armhole. Color it. For the back, it will be same but it will be a little up compared to the front. Cut the back armhole first. Then the hemline and sides. Mark the length of 3 fourth and half sleeve and extend the lines. Open the draft and cut the front sleeve curve. Label the sleeve draft. Give notch marks at different sleeve lengths. With this, we finish learning on how to draft a basic block for kids. We will be using the same blocks in the next video while designing various types of dresses for them. If any doubts, you can email me. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.